hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time clicking in any of our videos thank you so much for doing that and please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you may know the next time we upload another video thank you so so much again to my four you had it right for subscribers who are returning into our channel thank you so much guys i would like to extend my humble most deepest appreciation to you guys thank you so much for believing in me thank you so so much we are well well we are still reviewing pasta one's a wife so we are on episode two of pasta once a wife for those that don't know pasta once a wife is a new dating reality tv show that airs on zanzi magic every thursday at 8 p.m so yeah we've already introduced the 12 ladies we've introduced the two pastors who are actually looking to select a wife for, out of six of um the ladies that were chosen from for, for them so yeah so on episode two, the pastors get to meet the ladies. They get to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the ladies. And now we get to see the ladies just showing up. We get to know them a little bit more because now they get to tell the pasta uh, more about themselves. Unlike when they were still auditioning, the clips that we saw for, for, for their auditions. So yeah, the pastors got to meet the ladies and we also get to know the pastors even much more. Guys, we got to see like these personalities starting to pop up. There is some um, trends that we are starting to notice. There is some um, good things that we are starting to learn about the pastors. And there is some not so good things that we are starting to see from the pastors. So stick around on those video because we are going to cover the whole episode and give you our commentaries from all the meetups until the elimination because on this particular episode the first elimination took place so we're gonna start with the one-on-one -on -one interactions with the ladies and uh pastor zion kuno so pastor aaron zion kuno is our 40 year old pastor from rusting back uh, very charismatic, uh, very outspoken, not scared to say his mind. He is he is a people's man and he looks very handsome. He's the very same person who in the first video said to us he's looking for a Luca. So he's looking for a beautiful wife who knows exactly who God is, who has a relationship with God. So the first woman he met with was Kilebuhile. Kilebuhile was very beautiful with her natural hair and her red dress and like some kitten heels, black kitten heels. Like, you know what? The way she was dressed, she was screaming, I am Mamuruti. This is one of the church services with the ladies i'm not trying to outshine anyone i'm here to support my husband he's the one who's supposed to be shining and stuff like oh mamu Ruti, you you ladies know how how you dress like for your church services and stuff so kilem was 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 dressed like that well when you when you meet Kilem Khile for the first time before you start talking to her now I'm talking with regards to the interaction between her and Pastor Aaron Kuno Kilem Khile is so sweet she she comes across as a very sweet polite person but once you start talking to her yo the lady was rude guys i don't know if it was according to me or what but please let me know in the comment section if you also felt like Kilebukhile was rude yo Kilebukhile was so rude 
So she was sitting down. The pastor was standing up, obviously, because the, the pastor came approaching her from where she was sitting. And then the pastor comes there and greets her nicely. Oh, she politely greets the pastor. They exchange pleasantries. How oh, then the next thing she commands the pastors to sit down. How? Oh. Like, sit down, it's, it's, it's interrupting, it's disturbing for me to be watching you from this angle while I'm here. And then they went on with the conversation. Then the pastor wanted to add something on top of what she was saying. Miguel was like, don't interrupt me. Rudely so, no, don't interrupt me. It's very important that you listen to me. So, I don't know. I really left her from the previous episode, but after this episode, I'm not sure. But the pastor seems to be liking her. So that was Kilebukhile. And yeah, the second lady that the pastor met with was Mpo. Now, the first thing first, when Mpo met with Ubabumfundi, Mpo just asked, can we pray? She was in her velvet navy blue dress. That's just screamed royalty royalty she just asked the pastor if they can pray and the pastor said yes and the pastor actually offered her a platform and said no go ahead and pray she went on Miguel and she prayed and she prayed and she prayed well in my humble opinion I think Mpo is overselling herself she is over promising i hope she's not going to under deliver because if she starts under delivering it's just gonna be a ten or four for the pasta she really knows how to sell herself but can can she maybe produce what she's selling i don't know we'll just have to wait and see then the third lady is aus grace masete aus grace masete is the 41 year old the one that i said i don't think she's gonna be here for long well she is not she's not looking for much the pastor asked her what are you doing here with Ainimo? and her answer was like i'm looking for a man i'm looking for someone who is actually going to fill up the shoes of the shoes that my father has left because I was raised by an incredible man who was also a pastor. My mom was married to a pastor and yeah, stuff like that. And Pastor Pastor Kuno's response to that was he is not looking to replace someone into her life. So I don't know. That might have also turned off the pasta. And yeah, the fourth woman, Vanessa, Vanessa Monari, Vanessa Monari, the fitness trainer, Mugal Wahu Jima. So they met and yeah, you know what? I was I was I was taken aback by by the comments that the pasta gave about Vanessa. Like him saying I couldn't even continue the conversation because there was nothing interesting about her. Yo, Pastor, that was so hateful, hey, I must say. That was sure in Kavilinya. I hope Vanessa is not gonna see that dire session, that particular dire session. She's not gonna see it because yo, it's somehow, hey. And then um Vanessa is a divorcee. Uh, she did highlight that history to the pastor, and they basically spoke about Vanessa, the, inf the the fitness trainer, and if she's showing bumps on YouTube, on sorry, on Instagram and stuff. So I like I I didn't get the vibes that the pastor was giving to Vanessa. Then um, the fifth uh, lady that the pastor. Um, had met with was Amy. So Amy, Amy Stermane, the lady that is not scared to tell um, her mind, she's not scared to speak her mind. So Amy, first thing first, she asked questions about the pastor's kids and the pastor did highlight that she, he has two kids and the youngest being two. Any question to what I questioned in the first video, Pastor, why do you have a two year old and you're already on a dating reality TV show? So, any question that, and they didn't even finish their conversation because Amy was 
question after question after question after question after question like she was there Mugello was there and the pastor instead of being overwhelmed and threatened and intimidated by that he actually took it as as a man and said you know what any can take charge she's in charge of the conversations and stuff then the last but not least women um is um the lady that we mentioned in the first video that in, the, in our second video that she is actually also a pastor and stuff and to be honest from a pastor to a pastor i didn't feel the gel and the connection i'm just being honest there was no we are connecting we are jailing you are a man of god i'm a woman of god and so i don't think it will end well for pastor kuno and this particular lady so yeah those were the six ladies for pastor kuno the interactions were pleasant in most cases and some interactions were very cold and then yeah the second pastor pastor lincoln uh pastor lincoln pharaoh the first lady she met with was kotazo kotazo in in her blonde weave her black dress and her fair coat she looked very pretty like the first time we met her and yeah their conversation was not it was not glamorous like Kotazo. So they, the pastor complimented her about her being beautiful and Mogelinje. She just decided to mention finances. First interaction with the pastor, and you're already mentioning finances and stuff. So I don't know. We don't know if that's going to be a turn off for the pastor or not, but it didn't sit well with most of us then um the second lady uh is annelisa yo annelisa annelisa was like i ain't being a stepmom at the age of 23 well now i asked in the previous video where the hell is annelisa going so Annelisa was like, I am not becoming a stepmother and also juggle it with becoming Umam Fundisi. When the pastor mentioned that he has a son so well, Annelisa doesn't have a baby himself. So, But I could see the pastor withdrawing a little bit from Annelisa after that comment. But yeah, because he even asked if you don't want to be a stepmom then where should i what should i do with my son like where do you expect the pastor to take the son is there a place where we can take our kids when we want to be with you guys like i understand if you don't want to be with someone who has a baby but maybe try to articulate it in a different manner don't just say i, I, I don't want to be a stepmom you should be focusing on me and my baby i just don't want to be like that was not on at all then the third lady was sivuyile sivuyile was very much more interested into the pastor than the pastor being interested in her so sivuyile my girl went on hey girl went on into pastor lincoln with question after question tell me about your family tell me about this tell me about this tell me about this Whew. maybe that's why she, she she's single now because your girl was like on some ga -ga 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 with questions like one one questions on the first meetup i don't know but the pastor took it as some confidence vibe took it as some boldness vibes and stuff so yeah uh she drove the whole conversation but what can we say let's wait and see and um, the um the fee the fourth lady sorry was suri 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 the beautiful nubian queen the ever confident well suri and the pastor had a conversation about suri being a divorcee uh 
Suri also asked Pastor some interesting questions, but most of the focus then shifted to Suri when she explained that she got divorced three years ago. Um, the pastor also mentioned that he has a baby with someone who they didn't really have a relationship. You see that story? Let's just wait and see. So yeah, Suri, I think the age factor and the divorce factor, the history of the divorce is just going to maybe reduce some points for her. But we'll wait and see. Then the last lady to meet with Pastor Lincoln, sorry about that, was Nogutula. Uh, the pasta complimented her dreadless well guys Nogutula in my perfect world Pasta Lincoln needs to choose Nogutula up to now well yeah guys like in my perfect world Pasta Lincoln please do the things please do the things please choose Nogutula I'm begging you I can I can already imagine you guys like you are missionary she's a missionary you like you guys were born for each other can't you guys see like guys i'm already rooting for novotula and i hope she's not gonna disappoint me in any form so yeah guys those are the ladies chosen for the two pastors and then they went on into um elimination round unfortunately someone had to leave so pastor lincoln ended up eliminating the nubian queen suri 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 our nubian queen was eliminated guys the beautiful vivacious confident suri was eliminated and then uh pastor aaron zion kuno unfortunately had to eliminate um vanessa monari so vanessa monari was also eliminated but i think vanessa monari the age the divorce history not that i'm saying ladies who have been divorced don't um deserve to be loved or anything but judging from pasta aron zion kuno i think those are the factors that might have uh, resulted in him uh, eliminating um pasta lincoln even with suri i think um pasta lincoln also eliminated suri due to that the age the divorce history and and stuff i don't know men of god don't you believe in second chances or anything so yeah and for maybe pasta aaron kuno even the fact that um vanessa monari is a fitness instructor fitness trainer she's always on instagram sharing her videos and stuff yeah i think that also intimidated him but he's a fitness fanatic himself so i don't see why he didn't go for vanessa not that i was vouching for vanessa or anything but thank you so much guys for watching this video i feel like we're gonna go on and on and on and on and on but let's save the juice for the next videos thank you so much for watching this particular video and thank you so so much for your support thus far